Greetings and welcome back to the workshop. I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. Now, cold blackening. What's it all about? Well, more importantly, that stuff you keep seeing on eBay, what's it like? I've bought myself some of the cold blackening chemicals from eBay. I'll put the link in the description because hopefully this stuff's going to be pretty good. A fellow member of my club has used it and it does seem quite good. So we're going to give it a try in this video and we are going to use it on some of the parts for the Tinkerbell, which we need to get blackened so we can get the thing back together. Because there's a few little bits and pieces that I would like blackening. I'm not going to paint them, but I think blackening could be a suitable alternative. So this is the perfect opportunity. So here is a collection of parts that I am going to blacken, but in their current state, um, I think they're going to need a little bit of a sandblast first to clean them up. So um, bear with me, I'll get them cleaned up. So I'm back in the workshop. Yes, unfortunately, some time has passed since the sandblasting. Now, I did start doing the sandblasting and I had terrible trouble with the sandblaster. So my good friend Jeff came along, gave the machine a bit of a kick and bang here and a twist here and a twist there and got it working. And then he volunteered kindly to sandblast all the parts. So thank you very much, Jeff. That is much appreciated. It's been a week since I've had them back and there's some spots of rust coming on them already, which is a bit of a pain. So I've cleaned some of them up for us to try with the chemical blackening. Now with this, this is a three part product. We've got a mild alkaline cleaner to clean the parts of any grease and such. We then have the chemical blackening solution itself, which is a lovely blue kind of like the colour of that. And then the third part is the dewatering oil. Now with this, it is highly recommended you use some rubber gloves. And I have bought myself some plastic takeaway tubs, which have got a lid and we can put lid on and hopefully get much more than one use out of the products. I think all that's left to do now is do it. Right, so to start with, I'm going to put some of the mild alkaline cleaner. Now that smells just like the No Frills degreaser. Now I know you shouldn't really smell this stuff, but that really doesn't have a smell. Not sure how much to put in. It's about half a bottle, no? Somewhere like that. And the dewatering oil. Oh, that smells quite nice actually. It smells a bit caramelly. Right, so we've got a bit in each. And we shall begin by. getting the parts in the parts wash, sort of. Yeah, the problem with this stuff, having a quick research online is the grease off your fingers, if that gets on these, these parts, it will affect the blackening. The biggest question is, is I don't know whether I need to dry these so I think we shall attempt to dry them I have some rags here at the back I think we'll get as, as much off that really does smell like the No Frills degreaser. And 
then we'll uh, literally just wow oh my goodness that's gone quite quickly oh that's incredible oh Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> I'm quite impressed with that. We'll do a few parts. Do one of these big ones. I'm going to assume with this blackening product that it'll only go so far. that went really fast I don't know if you can see that there is this is just I'm, I'm fascinated by this this is totally fascinating there is you see like black stuff coming off Right, so, here's one uh, I've not put in. Now, I'll put it in that way so we can see it. So, this is how fast it goes. It literally just goes black. It just goes. A few seconds. That is really black now. I'd say that is that's probably perfect for me. I, I'm I'm this is this is fast this is fascinating stuff. <laughs> I don't know if you've just seen that, I just knocked the camera, but I've dripped on my table and it's put <laughs> starting to blacken the table. And then all we're gonna do is we'll take the first one out that I did. Um, in fact I might leave that in a bit more because it needs a bit more on the top. We'll do this one because this one's turned out really nice. I'm really impressed with the colour of that. We will give it a wipe. That's astonishing. There's a bit missing on the thread, but it's all right. Once the nut's put on, this is part of the um, brakes. Uh, and then basically, once you've got it like that, we then chuck it in some oil. And there we are. Believe it or not, it's the oil that kind of protects it. There we are. And effectively now, I just have to do this with all the parts and they'll all be black. And I'm really impressed with that. This is, this is quite impressive. Wow. So I don't know how long the chemical solution works. I'm going to assume it can only do it so many times before you have to replace the solution. Um, that is beautiful. That's turned out beautiful. That's the before and that's the after. Doesn't rub off, which is good. You know, that can go in here now and be be done and that'll be dead quick. And then we'll roll this one in the oil. You 
it with a bit of a wipe over it doesn't need that much oil but that that's beautiful that is that's turned out beautiful uh, I don't know what much more to say really it works it does exactly as it's supposed to do it's <laughs> wow I'm really impressed that is impressive I'm not sure there's much more I can say with this this is you know it's one of the most <laughs> easiest things I've ever done um it literally does exactly as it says. Um, <laughs> you know, is there any need for using a blowtorch? You know, the other method is, which I was thinking of doing for this video, was to heat some parts up and show the difference in, in but with the ease of this, this is just, wow! Wow, it's incredible. You know, it's it's not scratching with me nail. It's it's this is this is good stuff. I'm telling you now, this is good stuff, and I will definitely put a link in the description uh, for it to the company. Which the bottle says it's Chems Direct. Uh, I'm blown away by this stuff. It's fun watching it turn in the chemical solution. Uh, although now mine has gone a bit of a dirty colour. So I don't know how much more I'm going to get um, done. Do I recommend it? Yeah, I think I do. I think this is, this is fun. A lot of fun. So there we are. I will put all the links in the description down below. I'm very, very impressed with this stuff. I definitely recommend it. You can buy it in varying size bottles. Be careful what size bottles you do pick. The ones I have here are the 500 milliliters. Um, don't make the mistake of buying a 50 milliliters. It's, it, that's only a very small amount. You could do a little bit of chain with that maybe, or some very small nuts and bolts. I was a bit worried that the sandblasted surface would not be good enough and it is it's definitely definitely all right the longer bolts where i'd polished the surface i don't know if you've noticed that i did actually polish that surface on the lathe that bit did turn quick it turned quicker than the rest of it but overall it looks it looks fine it looks like it's uh, covered very well um all I've got to do now is get a tub to put the finished ones in. And obviously these are for the Project Tinkerbell, the steam locomotive. These are lots of different pieces that I wanted to do black. I didn't want to paint them. So I thought blackening them should be all right. And it's definitely worked. So I'm impressed with it. I'm going to carry on with this now. So if you do like what you see on the channel and you haven't already, then how's about giving us a little subscribe on the button down below? And don't forget to hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when we next release a video. And don't forget to hit that like button. That like button is completely free and it helps share this video and all my other videos around to like-minded people who are into obviously engineering, steam and heritage and all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, with that, I'm going to carry on because this is too much fun and I'll see you in the next video. So stay safe. Laters.